In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a linear inequality with multiple occurrences of the variable problem type three. And here we have an inequality and we're going to be simplifying it as much as possible. And one of the things that I notice is that there are several fractions. It would be nice if I could get rid of those fractions. And in fact, I can get rid of the fractions if I multiply both the left-hand side and the right-hand side by the lowest common denominator. So to see what that looks like, our lowest common denominator here, we have three denominators, four, four, and eight. So eight is our lowest common denominator. I would want to multiply everything on the left-hand side by eight and everything on the right-hand side by eight. And to show what that would look like, I would need to distribute each of those eights. So on the left, I would have eight times negative seven fourths x, and also eight times the two. The inequality won't change because I'm multiplying by a positive. On the right hand side, eight times nine fourths x plus eight times three eighths. And from here, there's gonna be a lot of simplification because four goes into eight twice, so two times negative seven would be negative 14 x, the eight times the two minus 16. Again, the inequality has stayed the same because I'm only multiplying the left and right by eight. On the right hand side, four goes into eight twice. So two times nine x would be 18 x. And then on the right, the eight and eight cancel. So plus three. This is our new inequality, no fractions, and we did that by multiplying through every term on the left and the right by the lowest common denominator. From here, I would want to get my x's on one side of the inequality and the numbers on the other side. I often like to avoid negatives, so I'm going to add the 14x to both sides because not only does it cancel the x's from that left hand side, it also gives me a nice positive 32x on the right hand side, bringing down that plus 3. To continue isolating for x, I can move that plus 3 away from the x side by subtracting 3 from both sides. Adding and subtracting on both sides doesn't affect the direction of the inequality, so my 32x is still on the right. I now have a negative 19 on the left. And then lastly, to completely isolate the x, I can divide both sides by 32. Since I'm dividing by a positive, the direction of the inequality stays the same. And on the left hand side, I now have negative 19 over 32, which doesn't simplify. So this would be our simplified inequality.